On a hot day, sweat forms on the surface of a person's body, and the sweat evaporates. Explain in terms of the behavior of molecules. Number one, the process of evaporation. We discussed the idea of evaporation before, and we said the most important thing about evaporation is how to explain it according to the kinetic theory in terms of molecules. We explain it as molecules with high kinetic energy break bonds with other molecules and escape from the surface, changing from liquid to gas. The mark scheme is nearly the same for all of these questions. The first mark is for idea of some molecules with high kinetic energy. This is for one mark. The second mark is for molecules overcome attractive forces or molecules break free of surface. This is the second mark. Question double I. How this process helps the body to cool down? I think this is the first time to discuss this idea. To discuss this, let's first remember the idea of evaporation. We said just concentrate on surface molecules, especially those which have high kinetic energy. In our case, are those molecules which are represented by red color. Because these molecules have high kinetic energy, they can break the bonds with other molecules and become free and escape from the surface. Now what happened? The highly energetic molecules escaped leaving the lower energetic molecules. This means that the average kinetic energy of molecules of the liquid will decrease due to the escape of the highest kinetic energy molecules. This means that the liquid will cool down. So, if you want to explain why evaporation will cause a cooling effect on the body when molecules with high kinetic energy escape, Molecules with less kinetic energy are left behind, so sweat cools down, and heat energy flows from the hot body to the colder sweat, cooling down the body. Two marks are given for faster molecules or higher energy molecules escape, or slower molecules are left behind. This is for one mark. The second mark is for heat flows from body to warm the sweat. So body cools. This is the second mark. And this is exactly what we said here in our answer.